It's me, your friendly neighbourhood Marmik, Coffee Smiles here on Boobs Radio Homicide. And earlier on this month, we told you about an incredible woman from Hull who was paddleboarding 100 kilometres from Fort William to Inverness, all to raise money for the Men's Shed Group. Now, the charity encourages people to come together in a shed to make and repair items whilst reducing, reducing loneliness amongst the community. Well, let's find out how it went. And welcome back, Sandra Wallace. Honestly, Sandra, good morning and welcome <laughs> to the breakfast show. You absolute beast. How did it go? How was it? <laughs> it was a beast, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, I did it, which is great. Nice. I wanted to. And I, I, <laughs> yes! Yeah. I raised over um, a thousand pounds, so I'm really pleased about that. Fast. So I, I reached my target, yes. Um, it was it was more challenging than I could have imagined. Um, well, all of the training that I did could not prepare me for what was ahead of me. Really? Well, I mean, it sounds like yeah. when you spoke to us saying that even the first day, they said the winds were up, the waves were chopping. It's like, <laughs> oh, this is what we got to experience. So how come the training didn't help? Was it just the elements were just crazy? What was going on? Oh. Oh, the elements were so against us, honestly. We were looking for pockets and windows of opportunity. We had storms ahead of us, behind us, no. all over, all, all around us. We had points where, um, you know, our coach Chucky was saying, you, you need, when I push you, you just need to, you're on a wing and a prayer. You've got to put everything into this yeah. and you've got to paddle for your life. Oh, wow. And I, I want you to get over these waves and you've got to get into the torrent of water that's just going to charge you down um, the, the lock. I think it was Lock um, Oik that was the really bad one. Um, it well, no, like that wasn't one. the re- it, it, it got worse it, than it, that one. <laughs> It does not sound like a welcoming or friendly lock, lock oik. It sounds like a challenge, <laughs> even to say. It that, was, it was. This is sensational, and I'm glad that, you know, you know, I didn't think you would, and I'm glad that you didn't, because sometimes people think, well, if this is what, this is the obstacle, this is what we're up against, then then what's the point? Or, you know, maybe we should come back and do it when it's a little bit easier. But that's the whole point of these things, isn't it? Mm. It's facing up to the challenge and thinking, no matter how much you train, you've just got yeah. to battle it out on yeah. the day. Yeah, we did. And, you know, to be fair, th- there's no way that I would have called it paddleboarding, although that's what we was doing. <laughs> I, You know, it's not my idea of paddleboarding because, you know, when we had the training, it was on flat water and that's what I'm used to. Yeah. And it, when we were in the pub and we were having the, the briefing about it and Chucky, our coach Chucky went, oh, you know, some days you might get three and four foot waves. And I, I was kind of laughing when I came away and I said to my husband, seriously, we're on a lock. We're not going to get waves it's not like we're on the sea Uh, well I kid you it was like being on the sea and um, you know we went from Gerlocky which was lovely which was day one and I said oh really challenging I'll be honest with you it got harder after Gerlocky Gerlocky was you know that was nothing really Mm. but one of the highlights for me um, oh it was an amazing day we went to this um, we went on to Loch Locky and there's a new trail, it's called a new trailblazer rest site and they've got this camp and they've got this um, big like ugh, wooden shed kind of thing so that people, if they get stuck out there, they can they can sleep in there overnight. But it's an island and you go looking for poo bear and they're like six, ugh, about 15, 16 foot high, these bears, they're wow. amazing. Oh, and they're all made out of wood. I mean, I, I loved that. So that for me was a massive nice. highlight. And obviously, um, you, sorry, yeah, carry sorry. on. No, you go, you go. No, no. Um, when we went on to Loch Oik, which was Loch Oik to Fort Augustus, in the morning, um, I found that really, really difficult because it was like, if you can imagine paddle boarding, but through treacle. Uh, so you're hardly, hardly moving, yeah. hardly any wind. What I know, honestly, and I, I got really bored. Uh, my my boredom threshold is is like, you know, I. <laughs> I, I, I need I need like energy. I need like a thimble. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, thank you. It yeah, is. I, I'm, I, I'm like, I get bored. <laughs> I need things. I need conversation. I need people. And I paddled on my own for the entire morning. Co- Coach Chucky obviously had to stay with me um, at the back and, and talk to me for a while. But even then, I think he got bored with me. And I was looking at this mountain and I was like, am I ever going to get past this mountain? Because I can see loads more beyond it. Well, it took forever to get past the one. And then you're kind of demotivated because you're faced with another one and all mm. you can see is water. 
So I start saying things like, um, "Is it when? It, when is it lunchtime?" And I start oh, thinking about no. my sandwich, no, and I'm like, no. "Oh my god, can this just be over now? Because somebody just, you know, just like should I just be airlifted out of here?" Yeah. Um, so there was that. But then in the afternoon, it was the best part of the entire trip for me because. We got these gusts of wind and huge wind storms that came through. And I looked at my coach and I went, should I put my wind sail up? And he went, yeah, try it. Why not? Oh, my goodness, mate. Brilliant. I mean, oh, it's Just literally it. the whole afternoon. Yeah, literally, I was wind sailing it. Nice. I never expected to do that. So that, that is... for me, well, it saved me because, honestly, Kirsty, everything hurt. My shoulders, my... I, I That day, I thought everything hurt. But the fourth day, I could not feel my legs. The fourth day was the absolute... Do you want me to tell you about the fourth day? We, I don't think we've got enough time for that, um, oh, um, Sandra. No. We've got, I know. We've got, we've, got, we've got the news coming up. We've got to play this Bondi <laughs> track. But I w- it sounds like, you know, the fourth day was, you know, was it It was just so... Oh. Can, you, can you do it in like 20 seconds? Yeah, well, the fourth day, we did have those four-foot waves and we did it on our knees in a Z, tight Z the entire time with waves coming front, back, sideways and we did everything that we could to just stay on board and literally when we got off the board, I couldn't feel my legs. I just oh, collapsed no. in a big heap. Uh, well, but we did it. We did it. Did we it. raised some money for the men's shed. You did yeah. it. You hit the target. Honestly, you've absolutely smashed it. And hopefully you'll be re- recovering soon. Sandra, we are so chuffed for you. Thank you <laughs> very much. Congratulations. Let us know what your next challenge right. is because no doubt you'll have one cooking. Sandra Wallace there completing 100 kilometres from Fort William to Inverness in to raise money for the men's shed group. Wonderful stuff there. I love that. Uh, but